What's up LNS fam and well here and welcome to another video of Lifestyles and Sneakers. Today guys, we're gonna have an unboxing, closer look, and my opinions on this latest Kobe 5 sneakers. So this is the Kobe 5 Pro Tro 5 rings. Let's go! Okay guys, so we are fortunate enough to unbox a pair of this uh, Kobe Pro Tro but unfortunately this is not my personal pair, this is actually a pair of one of our subscribers, Alex De Los Reyes. So he was the one who also lent us the, the Lebron 17 Low Titan and now he's lending me his Kobe 5 Pro Tro 5 times champ. So now guys, let's just check out the box first. So it's just a plain black box, a Nike box. Over here, they have a small swoosh. On the other side, they have another small swoosh. And then you have, and in the middle, they have the Kobe logo and his signature on the bottom. And the official colorway of these sneakers is court purple, black, violet court. So, so now let's unbox these bad boys. This is probably the best colorway in my opinion amongst all the five Kobe 5 Pro Tros that they are releasing during the Mambo week. So they actually are releasing a big stage colorway which is the white and black and gold colorway. And then they have the undefeated which is the two sneakers one with the, it's called the What If, uh, where the colors of all the teams that passed on Kobe Bryant. And they have the white and gold with teal which is the team or the colorway of the team that uh, drafted Kobe Bryant, which is the Charlotte Hornets. Apart from that, they also have the EYBL colorway, which is the green color. So amongst all those uh, colorways, this is for me the best. So let's pop the box open. So inside it's just a plain black box and then you have your regular tissue paper and bam, this is it, man. This is the Kobe 5 Pro Tro. Five times champ. Okay guys, now take a look closer at these beautiful sneakers. Look at that. Look at the colorway. I like the colorway of this one. It screams LA. I'm not really a fan of the purple and gold colorway. However, for this one, I think this is really, really nice. They did justice to the Lakers colorway. This is very, very nice. I like it, especially when you're looking at someone wearing it you know especially when uh, during the playoffs when anthony davis was wearing this it looks really really good now before i share my opinions about these sneakers let's first check out the details and the materials that they use so now let's start with the bottom of the sneakers which is the outsole so on the outsole you can see it's basically all icy bottoms except for this part the black part on the forefoot and on the middle, you will see this cut out where you can see the carbon fiber plate. And on the bottom of the sneakers or on the heel, you will see the Kobe Bryant logo surrounded by the Koshlon material that they use for the sneakers. So speaking of Koshlon, the midsole of these sneakers is Koshlon. So it's really, really soft as you can see. It's very, very soft.
The midsole of the sneakers is pure Kushlon foam and what's inside of the Kushlon foam is a zoom turbo on the forefoot and unfortunately on the heel there's nothing apart from the Kushlon. So normally when they Nike puts Nike zoom on the area normally it means it has zoom unit on this part. However, for this particular pair or the Kobe 5 Pro Tros, I think it's good for you guys to know that there's no zoom on the heel part. But they have an extra large or the zoom turbo on the forefoot similar to the Kyrie 6 or the Kyrie 5. Now the difference between the Pro Tro and the original Kobe 5 is that on the original Kobe 5, it has a hex uh, zoom unit or there's a zoom unit on the heel and there's a small met zoom unit on the forefoot on this part actually it's a circular uh, zoom unit similar to the lebron's lebron 17s that you see right now so it has a zoom unit here and a zoom unit here however with the pro tros they change it to a zoom turbo on the forefoot and then nothing on the heel another thing that you need to know on the outsole is that the pattern of the outsole is not your typical herringbone pattern this is like a heartbeat pattern as you can see it's like it's like a heartbeat pattern i don't know if you get what i mean but yeah it is a heartbeat pattern instead of your typical uh, herringbone pattern now let's move on to the upper of the sneakers the upper of the sneakers is mostly made out of synthetic material which has a patent leather finish especially on the purple area now, and then the black area is just your typical synthetic leather now the swoosh on the lateral side and the medial side is also in black synthetic leather with the gold outline now the kobe 5 is known for the fly wire so as you can see i think uh, it is visible that there is fly wire inside the materials that they use for the upper now moving back to the purple patent leather as you can see there are cracks or there are patterns so uh, for most of the reviews that I've seen they say that it is cracks but from what I can see this is almost similar to snakeskin it's not embossed but yeah the cracks are it like gives me a feel of a snakeskin although it's larger so it's not that small but anyway it looks good it gives more uh, texture to the sneakers now moving on to the heel part of the sneakers, there is a mesh area over here uh, which also gives you a snake skin vibe. And, and then on the bottom, you have the heel counter plastic or a TPU in black with Kobe Bryant's signature. Now going back to the front, you have your purple flat laces. Now the tongue is in mesh and then on top of the tongue, you have the same patent leather with the Kobe Bryant logo in silver. Now, on the back of the tongue, you have the gold colorway or the dark yellow colorway. Now, on the sock liner, you have the LA vibe around it. And then on the insole, as you can see, there's LA continuing the vibe. And on the bottom part, I'm not sure if you could see, I can't take out the, the insole because it's glued in. So you have all the dates or the years of the championship of Kobe Bryant, which is the five rings that he has. Okay, so for those of you who did know, this is called the Five Times Champ. However, the inspiration behind this sneakers is actually the leather jacket that was given to Kobe after the first and second championship that they have. So there's a photo that I'll be showing you right now. So that was the inspiration of this sneakers. So, so basically, that's all about the Kobe 5 Pro Tro Five Times Champ. Now, on the thumbnail, you probably saw what I wrote there. What sucks about these sneakers? Well, there's a couple of things or there's a few things that I want to mention regarding these sneakers. Because, I mean, this was made in honor of Kobe Bryant, right? And for me, if they are honoring Kobe Bryant, I believe that they could have done a better job on these sneakers. But don't get me wrong, I love the colorway. I like how it looks. But I mean, the materials that they use, they only use synthetic leather on the upper. I mean, in my opinion, at least, uh, they could have used premium leather for the sneakers, especially for the black part, because this one looks really, really cheap. The black area of the sneakers looks really, really cheap. For me, if they use premium materials on the sneakers, this will elevate the quality of the sneakers. And uh, speaking of quality, I think how they did the sneakers um, the quality is not that nice because it has a lot of glue stains especially on the bottom and over here on the 
toe area. So I think uh, if you are honoring um, Kobe Bryant, they could have really done a better job in making this particular sneakers. Now I know that this particular sneakers was made when Kobe was still alive. However, since they're doing a retro or a pro tro of these sneakers, I believe that it's only better if they use premium materials for this one, especially at the price that they're charging at 180 US dollars. Now, speaking of the price guys, so this sneakers is kind of limited and not every Kobe Bryant fan had a chance to get a pair like me. So I don't have a pair of this. I have nothing against resellers, but I think they should have passed on this one because uh, for me personally, it's not cool to profit on someone's death. So that's my personal opinion. And uh, But the thing is, I understand where they're coming from. Of course, it is a business. You, you're, It's your hustle and grind. So this is a chance to get more money. So they will take it. But it's just sad that the Kobe Bryant fans cannot really uh, enjoy or have a pair of these sneakers. I mean, there's also a post of uh, Nick Young uh, condemning all the resellers. Uh, I'm not condemning the resellers. It's just that if I was on their shoe, I wouldn't resell my sneakers or my Kobe's. I wouldn't uh, sell it especially at a super high price because right now Kobe sneakers are really really high it's like this pair is almost 500 US dollars here in the Philippines the resale value of this sneakers is about um, 20,000 or more so it's just crazy because, because the SRP of these sneakers is only at 8995 or let's say 9,000 pesos so they're charging more than double for this particular pair. And the thing is, the quality of the materials that they use for these sneakers is not even premium. Basically, the prices went up because of Kobe Bryant's death, which is really, really sad. But anyway, guys, uh, I'm so happy that I was able to uh, do my review or closer look on these sneakers because I really, really want them. Unfortunately, this is not on my size. This is a size 10. I'm still looking for a size 10.5 and my offer is still up. I'm willing to trade uh, two Jordan 1s for a pair of these. So if you have a 10.5, please let me know, DM me on IG. And again, I would like to thank Alex Duras Reyes for sharing with me his Kobe 5 Pro Tro, 5 times champ. Anyway, guys, uh, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I, and I hope you learned something, especially the original inspiration of these sneakers and the technology that they use for these sneakers. Anyway, anyway guys, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, please press the thumbs up button down below. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please press the subscribe button and click the notification bell. Follow us on all our social media accounts. Till next time.